Hey, congratulations. It looks like you're almost done with your classes at Hondros and you're about ready to take your exam. This is Adam Ashburn. I'm a real estate instructor at Hondros as well as a real estate broker in Ohio. And I'm gonna give you some quick tips and tricks that are practical that's gonna help you pass your tests. So first and foremost, study what's important. Now, when I say that, meaning study what the meat and potatoes will be on this upcoming exam. Now, the teachers have given, given you four uh, different books, and the one that I want you to take a good close look at is this one right here, Principle and Practices. It is the thickest book of all the four that you have, and it's the thickest because it's the most important. I want you to study this backwards and forwards. This is 70 to 80% of your real estate exam, okay? Um, so if you can take the exam by knowing all of this, you're probably going to pass, okay? So know this book backwards and forwards. The next question I get a lot about is math. There are maybe two to four questions pertaining to math on that exam. Don't worry about it. I can promise you whatever math that is on that exam is something in a middle school grade level. Even if you missed one, it's not a big deal. Remember, all you need to do is get a 70%. No one cares if you get 100% or a 72%. It doesn't matter. And again, these tips are only to help pass the real estate exam. The next, the next uh, tip that I'm going to give you is schedule your Hondros Crammer. I can't stress how important the crammer is that we provide for you as students. The crammer is something that you take at the end of all your classes that have mock questions that um, actually will show up on the real estate exam. Now, what I tell students is, because uh, the timing is very important here, folks, is that once you complete all your 120 hours, I want you to take that, uh, those certificates along with your broker sponsorship to the Division of Real Estate. Now, what happens is in a few days, you'll be able to start scheduling for your exam. Now, when you schedule for your crammer, I want you to schedule your test just three to five days after your crammer because I want you to have that momentum of studying all through your classes of Hondros taking your crammer, you want to shoot for an 80 to 85 percent on your crammer session through Hondros, and then three to five days later, go in and take your test. If you can get 80, 85, 90 percent on those crammers, which 90 would be pretty high, if you can do that, you're in excellent shape for passing. Next tip is go to your testing center. So the testing center, for example, in Columbus, Ohio, is all the way on the south end of town. Most people have never even been to that part of town. So maybe three to five days before your test, I want you to drive to the physical testing center, okay? Find where the door is to enter the door to access the test. I remember when I took my test years ago, I'm a two-time grad of Hondros College, that I had, uh, I went down early, about an hour early before my test, and I uh, just sat in the parking lot and studied. But I wanted to make sure I got there in plenty of time. I went there a couple days before, so I knew where I was going, so I didn't have that anxiety, uh, uh, you know, worrying about rush hour traffic and stuff to get to that test. So do that. It'll help tremendously. It'll give you confidence more than you'll ever believe. The next tip and the final tip that I'm going to give you is once you get sat down to take your test, you have tons of time, okay? You have three hours, all right? Most agents complete the test in an hour, okay? Now, it's okay if it takes you longer than that, but you have plenty of time to finish this exam. So don't stress, don't rush, okay? And when you get to an answer, 
and you know the answer, go ahead and, you know, and then move on to the next one. If you don't know the answer and you're completely lost, don't get frustrated with it. Just skip it. You can skip an answer, but remember, go back and fill in something. You know, even if you don't know, make an educated guess. One thing and the last tip that I'm going to make sure you do not do, don't change your answers. Okay, because the first confident answer that you come up with will be the right one, I promise you. So this is Adam Ashba, Hondros instructor and real estate broker here in Ohio. I hope that helps everybody. If you have any more questions, just put a comment below. I'm happy to answer those or reach out to me on Facebook. You can direct message me at Adam Ashba Realtor or you can send me a text directly at 614-519-5265. I'm happy to answer any questions or maybe you haven't even started through Hondros and you're very interested in the process. Give me a call, shoot me a text or hit me up on Facebook. Again, this is Adam Ashba. Uh, instructor at Hondros College and real estate broker in Ohio and good luck to you on passing that exam.